Hi everyone, this video is going to show you how to use our new widget, our new Muse Online Shop. So this is the preview that we've designed that is uploaded in, in our site. So as you can see, and so what I wanted to show you is the different options that you can find in this widget. And of course, I just want to, wanted to remind you that this widget is also responsive. So first of all, we have the Hoover effect. The Hoover effect, sorry, in all the pictures. Then you also have another Hoover effect here when you want to add it to the cart. And you can choose to, to put a discount label and you can also choose if you want to, to, to put a background color to the text or even to the same image. As you can see the difference between this image and this image, this one is is 100% and this one I think if I'm not wrong I think I narrowed it down to 70% and as you can see here uh, you can use the add to cart or you can change the text to any other and as you can also see you can change the text color and it doesn't matter if you use a horizontal picture or a vertical picture as long as all the pictures are all the same and then if there's an option here that says that if the, the your image, the, the width is 300 pixels, then you should put in the widget that same option. And obviously all the pictures that you're going to use for all the, the online shop should be the same width. And okay, so I'm going to show you. Okay, so this was the preview and now going to a blank page and here I dragged uh, both widgets because once you download it you're going to have find two two widgets one is the cart this one here and the other one is the product so I'm going to start with the product okay so let's open the options to see I'm going to start from the top product style so okay you get as always a background color background opacity, border color, border opacity and border size. And just to remind you, we've written here that you need to increase border size higher than one to see any border, okay? That's important. And product details. So you have the, uh, the background details, the details color, discount background color. And this is what I was talking about. And the image width, well, this is the image width. Remember when I showed you, this is, I mean, wait. Let me show you here. Image width. Okay. So this is 100% and this one is 70%. You see? It doesn't fit the whole product. So that's, well, depends on you. Depends on how you want to design it. Okay, so... Where was it? Where was I? Image width. Oh, and the image height. Um, okay, this is what, uh, what I think before I said the image width, but now what I meant is really the image height. If when I create, when I designed that preview, I think all the, the image height was, I think it was 300 pixels. So if your, all the, the photos are 300 pixels high, 300 pixels height, you should write it here too. Okay, so it's, so it's not that confusing for them. For, for the widget and so other than this there's no other thing that's important so let's go to the other options button style okay here we get all the the buttons so this options is the colors to this button and the sales button obviously sales button is optional so you get color shadow border and when the color is active and then border active and then the hoover effects too. And here's where you can customize your own text. Instead of add to cart, you can write want it, just as I did. Okay. And um, the other one, the, the product settings, last settings. Product name. Okay, so I my online shop was a bakery, so just imagine it's just put a name like um chocolate muffin. For example, and here, I guess you get to put the, the description. Okay, change it as it, uh, however you want to. 
Then here's where you write the price. It says 25 here, but then, oh, uh, just imagine I'm going to put 12. And the discount. And if you don't want any discount, you just have to write zero. So this tag will disappear. If you want a discount, whatever you want, just put the number and, sorry, and that's, and that's it. There you go. Last thing, product image one, product image two. I mean, if you don't want to put two images, it's okay. It's just, the second image is just for the Hoover effect. So what I did is, as I wanted to show you that, that effect, let's choose, all these pictures have already been resized. See, because it's 200, 200, 400. So I'm going to use two of 200. Let's open this here. And second one. Okay. And I changed the discount to 1.5. So you see here it, it, it has changed too. All right. So this is just for the Hoover effect. If you don't want this Hoover effect, you just don't need to put the second image. All right. So next thing, the cart. Um, okay, change the color, change the shadow, the size, if you want it bigger or smaller. And even if you want to use your own image, you don't want this, this, this card, you can upload your, your own image. In the preview, I just use the card because I didn't want this to be confusing for you guys. But you can actually use any image you want. And then shop settings. So the only thing you have to put here is your PayPal email. So that's where... Uh, People when they purchase it, it will be via PayPal, so it has to be with yours. And the um, currency, we got a whole bunch of them here. Currency symbol, and you have the option like to show currency symbol after price. In some languages, the, the currency symbols go before or after the number. So wherever you are, you just can you have this both options. So I think that's it. If you have any other any other doubts you just can write us or you can email us oh i remember one more thing i'm gonna do it like um i'm gonna add this product to the cart okay so this is what happens this will appear you get pastries and you get one now i'm going to add a discount because here you can see the discounts 1.5 dollars but the price is still seven so when i say i want it you get the discount here okay after that you just have to check out with Pi paypal so and this will redirect you to the paypal page and 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 all that so now i think there's nothing else to 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 explain so it, seriously if you guys have any doubt don't you can ask us or can you can comment in this video okay thank you very much